my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we are back with more Spy X Family. And sadly, this is the last episode of season one, which is so heartbreaking. I have just come to love Anya so much and the whole gorgeous family. So I will miss it. I'm very excited. Um, As of this point, we have had season two confirmed, which is awesome. But we also have a movie, which sounds so cool. And we literally have the musical as well. So we have so much Spike family content to look forward to. So I'm very excited. I'm so glad it was so successful. And I know it was, but it's just good to see even in Decor 2 that it was still just as successful as when it was airing in Core 1. Even with all these other amazing anime that have been coming out this season. So yay! <laughs> um... On that note though, uh, I had a lovely Christmas. I'm a little bit tired, so if I'm maybe like slightly a little bit lower energy or a little bit off, you know why. <laughs> but I could not wait another second to watch this episode. So I'm up, I got up, I'm here. Let's get started. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was this the dorm party thing? No! <laughs> インペリアルスカラーとその親親指かつてそうであったオービーの一部だけで開かれる伝統行事でウォーズロイドウォーズロイドシュの階段並みの警官になっていたらそうでもしていたこれを見て、やはり潜入は厳しいか周辺に東
おい下がれ外してくれないよよいおまえおまえがーし私の娘がご子息に大変な悲鳴を働いた件で You dirty dog! 何しろくれました私ロイド・フォーザーと申します<笑> These are just things that, like, you know, I would never think about that goes into this. Like, you have to learn and try to scavenge to make yourself appealing, you know? <laughs> like, your, your son is right, though. <laughs> My daughter was an asshole. I'm a special kind of white guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can't push. Let me in. Let me in. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, no, he loves this. Oh. Oh, cool. Ooh, that gave me chills. That was very scary. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Well, about time for me to be hitting the old dusty trail. Yeah. 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 That's so cute. <laughs> I'll ask for that pay raise. Okay, are you suspicious? I want my own I want my own So, you I want my own I want my own Heart. Okay. Oh, look at those fucking eyes. They're little Anya sparkles. Uh, yes, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Can I have some more, sir? Oh, look at those little rascals. That's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like that, like, Lloyd is never home when Becky's there. It's kind of funny. <laughs> to be continued. So cute. All right, so we made our first contact, which went really well. Like I've said, probably from episode one. I really like the spy acts aspects, sorry, about the show. I think it's really cool seeing like how Twilight's mind works and how he thinks through things and all these under the surface things that we don't see him do, but he is doing. 
like he's going through um you know videos of desmond he's going through you know newspaper articles all this stuff before he went into hiding to try to understand this man better so he knows when he gets this opportunity how to talk to him and hopefully be able to calculate what he will you know enjoy or how to phrase something to get around you know what have you and also he did a great job of like not pushing too hard either because like he very much was like i would like to come to your house to apologize formally i feel so bad but he can't keep pushing that and be like no please sir let me come to your house like it's totally my fault like he can't keep pushing it or else like that security team is gonna get awfully suspicious so he has to just like say it and then like be willing to just like let it go after like one tiny push to be like oh no please i can give you a gift like he lets it go then he's like yep okay sure all right then so very cool to see kind of how much twilight has prepared for this mission and getting to also kind of see the handler pop in with her little like we can't just send twilight support we can't like, we're going to lose more people that way. People are going to get interrogated. The whole secret, the state security is there. Like, we just can't do that. And it's right. They've talked about from the start of the show that they were low on staff and that this was a very delicate mission. So very cool, very interesting. And of course, getting to see Anya, like, in her own way, help the situation is really cool because... Obviously, Anya is like four years old. She can't actually do much to help this situation. She can certainly try, but it's a little bit more difficult. So seeing her like try to like spy on Damien and then like getting caught and then hearing like Lloyd somewhere, she's like, father, I'll try hard. <laughs> and then her pushing and being like, you know, I get scared. To tell my dad when I get bad grades. Like, you can tell him. Like, just do it. And then he remembers it and does it. It's very cute. Like, overall, a really good, like, final episode. Because, obviously, the show can have some action. But that's not really its premise. It's more, like, slice of life esque comedy action. If I had to, like, give it some categories... So action is not its main forte. So ending off on like some epic action thing is really not it for us. But one could argue that this mental warfare that both Desmond and Twilight are playing is action though. You know, they are doing this mental warfare, which is very cool. You know, this Cold War-esque like propaganda so <laughs> so i loved it It was very interesting and then just seeing twilight make like the replica sheepy and being like i can't find my daughter's uh keychain anywhere oh no <laughs> to get him you know to desmond which i think is so interesting i also think it's interesting that desmond did show up he didn't have to but he did so he cares about his son, his youngest son. Like, he does. He certainly does not make time for him. I get he's a busy, reclusive man. But I think Twilight was right that he was like, your father came to see you and, you know, does care. I do think that's true. Like, obviously, he does care for his son. So I'm excited in season two to kind of see how this starts unfolding a bit more now that we've had this first contact, now that Desmond knows uh, Forger's name. I think it'll be very interesting. And now I think he'll start maybe paying attention when uh, that name gets brought up. And hopefully for good reasons. I do like that he was like so chill with the sun being punched. He's like, ah, it's a school squabble. It's whatever. <laughs> like, I thought that was so funny. Like, yeah, like, it happens. I don't blame him. Like, getting upset seems silly. Considering it's already happened and it really hasn't happened again. Because they've been in school now for a few months, right? Two, three months? Because they've done, like, a midterm. 
So it must be like two, three months they've been in school. Has to be. So like, you know, I, I guess as a parent, if you weren't there for the first situation and then someone like apologizes a few months after, it's like, it hasn't happened again. So obviously like, it's not like a thing. So whatever. So I, I, I get it. I, I, as someone who does not have a child, I guess I don't, I can't say I fully understand because I feel like I would still be concerned like if it was my kiddo that like got punched in the face. <laughs> but then again, he is like a young boy and I guess there's that like, especially in this time era, a bit more of that stereotype is pushed that boys need to be strong and finding out your son was like punched by a little girl. Maybe you don't want to make it a big deal. <laughs> Maybe you'd rather have that sweep swept under the rug a bit. But again, I'm saying in that time period with those stereotypes that are in place there. So yeah, but overall, I really like this season. Um, core two is re really, uh, a bit more bland though. I did like the tennis arc a lot. It was fun. And nightfall was a fun addition. I think the first core is probably my favorite though. Uh, just getting to meet these characters, getting to meet, um, Yor and Yuri. Um, Yuri was in the first core, right? I actually don't remember now. Um, irregardless though, I liked the first core. It was fun just getting the family together and learning in that like somewhat growing pain that was there. And then in core two, we had some more things added to the mix like Nightfall and um, Yor trying to figure out how to be this mother and wife was an interesting little like I don't want to say sub arc, but it was kind of like embedded through the second core a lot more where she wanted to improve in cooking. Um, she kind of learned more about herself and then learning and understanding in the last episode what it means to be a mother, wife, what have you, and that she wants this life. So very interesting. I do hope we'll get more in the next season, some more assassin your stuff. It is a little bit disappointing because I do want to see her just going. But I get that, like, having her go stabby stab people maybe isn't the most uh, appropriateness for this show when it's trying to always be a little bit more lighthearted throughout everything it does. Even in this one, we were, like, really in these mental war games, like, Twilight himself was able to like reason and rationalize and soften a bit to be like, you know, my daughter can be very confusing as well, but like, uh, we choose to stand beside them and we can't control them and they have to be the person they want to be, blah, blah, blah. Like, it was very cute to see that Twilight has softened a bit and that he also understands that like Nightfall's way of like absolutely rigorous, like hardcore training is not the way to go to nurture a child. So very cool. I like it. And getting to also see Lloyd open up a bit more and like actually pay attention to the things that Anya enjoys, uh, like the Bond comics and show. It's just very sweet. And then yours actually caring about Anya and this family and wants to be a part of it and doesn't want to lose her place here, even if it's a temporary thing, what have you. She loves it a lot and doesn't want to lose it. So it's very, very cute. I really do love this show. Everything is just so perfectly wrapped and tied with a little bow. Like it's hard to dislike this show. Like again, I think if you dislike the show, you're just like an entirely unempathetic person who hates children and hates beautiful people. <laughs> Because how can you not love your and how can you not love Twilight? Like, they're both beautiful people. <laughs> so, I love this show. I'm so excited for this anime to come back. Um, I don't think they've said a guesstimate for when season two will come out. I don't think we're going to get in 2023. I really don't. I would love to eat my words and we have it again, like the winter 2023 ASCII season. I guess I should say 2024. I would love that if we get it again in like basically like a year ASCII. But I don't know if we will. So 
we'll see what happens if we get in fall next year that'd be cool but i think it's gonna be the winter half so hey so why but nevertheless i am so excited to see what will happen next time around um i'm definitely gonna go back and reread the manga because i have quite a bit of it i kind of stopped once i started watching the anime i kind of got to the uh yuri part and then uh put it on hold but i probably will go back and reread it now because i'm very I'm going to miss it so much. It's going to be very difficult. So thank you guys so much for watching it with me. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that way you see all the updates and trailer reactions with me as well. And if you like this video, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. It really does help out my channel so much. And I'll see you all later. Bye!